One of my favorite things about the summer is fresh, sweet corn. And today we've invited Christy Shive, our Warren County a SNAP educator to come in today and share with us a unique way on how to utilize sweet corn coming in from Kentucky's summer gardening season. Hello Christy. Hi Kristen, thanks I, for having me. Yes, I'm so glad to have you. So what uh, recipe do you have for us today? Today I have our fresh corn salad recipe and like you said there's nothing quite like that fresh sweet corn and um, this recipe doesn't call for too many ingredients so oh, that's good. it won't take any time to prepare. Yes, awesome. So this recipe calls for five ears of fresh corn. I know sometimes we're tempted to grab that canned corn, but I, I really urge you to stick with the fresh corn. Definitely, definitely. So our recipe calls for five ears, um, and once you remove all of the outer parts, you're going to boil your corn for four minutes remove it promptly and then immerse it in cold water. And once the corn is cooled off, you're going to um, cut the, the kernels off the cob. Okay, so you've already gone ahead and done I that. Have, yes. Yes, so we've got a bicolor corn too, and like you said, you've already removed the shucks and try to remove as many of the silks yes. as possible. Yes. Sometimes <laughs> it's a little easier said than done. Yes, it can be a little tricky. But definitely want to urge, you know, not just using one type of corn by color can give you some nice yes. different color. Absolutely. And then the next ingredient is a half cup chopped red onion. Mm, I can smell the, the onion there. Yes, you can, you can really smell all of the flavors that these ingredients are going to bring. But definitely that brings some nice color already. Yes. Yes. All right. And so then we're going to use three tablespoons of um, apple cider vinegar. Okay and then three tablespoons of olive oil. That's kind of like your healthy fat there. Yes. <laughs> yes. Good binding right. element, yes. When you purchase your fresh corn, you're really um, making use of the bounty that our farmers have brought to us this season. Oh, definitely. So now we're gonna do a half teaspoon of salt and then a half teaspoon of black pepper. That black pepper looks nice. Does. So our recipe tells us to mix all of these ingredients before we add our last ingredient, which is the basil. The basil, yes. So that already looks really, really pretty. Just kind of tossing those uh, ingredients that you put in there. The, yes, and the, just coating all of the kernels. And like you said, one nice thing about this recipe is that very few ingredients That's there. That's right. I'm all about convenient. <laughs> me too, me too, because, you know, just a few ingredients makes for an easy dish to put together at home. Yes, that's right, Kristen. So now we're going to add a half cup of fresh basil. basil. I um, love basil. I do too. And a lot of people have the fresh basil in their garden. Yes. And if you're like me, last year I had a, a some basil, and I just had trouble... Um, finding all the ways to use it. So I was excited whenever I found this recipe because this really pairs nicely with the corn and the red onion and the apple cider vinegar. I was gonna say, as you're mixing, you know, you can definitely smell everything's coming together so yes. nicely. And the basil there, you know, you've cut it up and I can smell some of the basil as you're mixing. Yes. Very, very nice and pretty and elegant there. So. And there you have it, Kristen. It didn't take us any time to prepare. And today I have some multi-grain tortilla chips. I love those. Yes, I do too. We're always encouraging you to make half your grains whole. So this is one way just by choosing a multi-grain uh, tortilla chip. Well, that's so nice. Looky there. Yeah, such a pretty, pretty salad and a great way to utilize sweet corn in the summer. Make sure you uh, stop by and visit our extension office located here on Nashville Road to pick up a, a copy of our Plated Up Kentucky Proud Fresh Corn Salad. Uh, we'd be certainly happy to get that to you. And make sure that you stop by and pick that up and have a great gardening season. Thanks, Kristen. Thanks.